Greetings motorcycle friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. If you have been following our channel, you may know that I imported two Chinese electric motorcycles about maybe almost two years ago and they are behind me. And the last episode I posted, I have been having difficulties with the steering because it was getting stuck. The steering was moving in like increments, clicks, getting stuck and then releasing, getting stuck and releasing and I was suspecting damaged steering bearing. Well, I finally fixed it after about a year of waiting hiatus and I didn't want to touch it because I knew it was going to be quite a bit of work to take off the steering. I even reached out to a motorcycle repair shop and they said they don't want to touch it because these are Chinese, they didn't know how everything is set up. Well, I finally fixed it and I'm going to show you how. <laughs> I'm laughing because it was such an easy fix. I only fixed it on my, the gray one, and not my on my son, which is the red one. And let me demonstrate the issue. I'm just going to sit on it. And so when I rotate this, I'm, I'm pulling with my left hand. It's going to see it moved to the first click, and now it's moved to the second click. So it just, it's very tight. And every time it is kind of moving in clicks it's not smooth so it just kind of have stops in between and this is not the worst of it mine was worse uh, almost to the point that it was dangerous to ride it so what did I do how did I solve the problem well on this one let me show it is very smooth see it just moves very nicely Although it's on rough surface. And I'm going to show you the solution, okay? Here it is. Repair in a can, WD-40. You're not going to believe this. Just a copious amount of WD-40 without taking this off. Solve the issue. And I will try to show you the issue. The issue was, I think, really low quality grease that they used and it dried out so first of all it's open on the bottom this is the bottom of the steering and do you see you can almost see over here the bottom of the bearing and right now it is uh, it has a little bit of WD-40 but maybe on the other one which is still having issue I may be able to show the issue a little better if I can find here it is. So this is the grease they used. And it is really sticky. It's not nice and lubricating. It's almost starting to polymerize and getting like plasticky to the point. I think this was the issue. It was not well greased. The problem though is you cannot just open the top and spray WD-40. It's very difficult to get under this. So you have to like spray it from here and you have to spray it all the way from through here underneath the bearing and then force it up. And I spent a lot of WD-40 on mine, you know, spraying it. It was a mess. So what I'm planning to do this time is use another tool that I use a lot for repairs, just regular duct tape. So I'm going to try to create a sheet, like a bladder around that area on the bottom, and then make a hole in that bladder, and then force the WD-40 into that bearing. And then once I clean it up, I'm going to follow up with this. This is called Liquid Wrench. This is white lithium grease and I love this. Although it's runny when you spray it, it stays in place. I think they formulated such that something evaporates and then viscosity increases. So after spraying, it stays in place. I don't want to use WD-40 only because this is good for initial lubrication, cleaning it up, but over time it will evaporate. And it's very thin and this will stay in place and take care of that bearing for years to come until it gets, it gets dirty. So what I'm going to do next is go in time-lapse and show you how I'm going to do this for my 
son's motorcycle. So I squirted in a lot of WD-40 inside that bladder and it started coming out from the bottom over, over here. I don't know if I can show you. I don't want to get the camera dirty, but let me... As you can see, it's coming like yellowish. And uh, I think it's just dissolving the other bad grease and getting that color so I'm just going to test if the steering is moving a little easier let me set up this camera over here on the fake tank it's I can still feel it I'm going to remove this now and then try it also from the bottom I mean there should have been quite a bit of uh, I just have to work it in all that WD-40 that got in but it is getting already better it's not stopping as as crazily in on those lines so it's I can still feel those clicks that's one two three four five one two three four five but they are, they are not as prominent so I'm going to try to do the same from the bottom and see if that helps Well, folks, it feels smooth as butter right now. In order to make sure that I'm not trimming it up, I set it uh, in our garage, the front tire in our garage, which has much smoother surface, it's concrete. And I'm just rotating it. I cannot feel any of those clicks that was happening before. I mean, this is after WD-40 followed by the lithium grease, that spray with lithium grease. Liquid wrench. It's amazing. I'm just going to do a quick test ride just to confirm it's really working. Well, folks, it is time to test it out. A lot around the block. Wow. What a difference that made. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, I don't, it's so smooth. And I'm so glad that I did not spend any money to get it fixed. This was practically zero dollars, just a little bit of time to get it fixed myself. <laughs> Let's put it set it in sport drive. Probably there is too much wind and you cannot hear much. What a difference that WD-40 followed by liquid wrench that uh, lithium grease did. Oh my god, this is so nice now. So smooth. Even when it was new, it wasn't this smooth, I'm telling you. It had this uh, funny tendency to Kind of when you are trying to counter see go, go the wrong way first probably it was catching one of those click points and then suddenly releasing and then giving that feel right now it is it feels like my actually better than my more agile than my cbr 600 and i'm glad i didn't take this off and spend hours and hours maybe days trying to fix it that way feels really good right now all right folks this is it a little bit of duct tape WD-40 and liquid wrench did the trick after one year of hiatus all right folks these are all fixed and ready for the road and 
here are my models of this video. Tim and Alexander. And here we go. WD-40 duct tape and liquid wrench. Lithium grease, white lithium grease. Did the job. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you again on Props and Wheels. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye. Wave, folks. Wave. <laughs>